Hello folks, it's Thursday the 12th, Thursday the 12th of uh, May. Uh, some of you will have realised by now that I'm quite skittish where money is concerned. Um, especially when I'm fed up. I'm not averse to buy myself a present or two. Uh, and you will also know that I love to play straight through my amp. And I also love to... Um, love to play through pedals. <laughs> I love everything. But no, I mean, the, the blonde Stratocaster sold and Chandler's on Saturday is paying for food in the week and I've been looking, thinking, oh, you know, Mexican Esquire, really nice, nice light guitar, white blonde, one pickup, really nice, get that under 400 quid. Maybe I should, you know, mm, and then Brinsley says, oh, wait, you know, if you're going to do anything like that, wait for a second-hand Japanese vintage one to come up and much better guitars. <laughs> Um, and I thought, oh God, you know, I, I sort of thought, I, I'm, I'm keen to do something. My legs making me fed up. Life's making me fed up. I need to do something. You know, I've got no responsibilities apart from for myself let's be responsible and I thought I don't you know realistically I don't need another guitar I've got two perfectly fine electric guitars and um, a nice acoustic um, but I, there is something that I can um, I can that will directly affect the, the, the quality of what I do uh, Chandler's a, a, a dealers, they, uh, and they're very generous with their <coughs> staff discounts. So let me do something that I never usually do, which is move the camera in mid mid video. This is going to be a bit of, bit of a lark because it's sort of on a mic stand. And but um, check this out. Check this out. What am I doing? I don't know if you can see, let me shut the curtain a bit so you can see the lights. I've got me, um, I spoke to him uh, on the phone previously, a guy called Daniel works for a company called Gigrig, and they do uh, kind of switchy solutions a la, a la Bob Bradshaw or, or Pete Cornish or whatever, but they're aimed specifically at the pedal board. So they do power supplies and and fantastic switching things. <laughs> and this wonderful little box called Loopy Two. Now these are um, are uh, true bypass. They're a bit like the Lele switches, but much neater, much better priced. Um, much kinder to the to the on the, in the on the real estate side of things, and I've got three. There's two loops in each of these. I've got one and two here, the compressor and the uh, the full tone. This is the wah. This loop four, I suppose you'd call it, is the three distortions because I I don't use them at the same time, not usually. This loop here is the two these two boxes, the chorus and the phaser. And the last one is the Echo. All the loops are on at the moment, but all the effects boxes are off. So this is like just playing through all the effects with nothing going. Now, I don't 
don't know if you're going to be able to hear this over the um, over YouTube, but this is, as I say, this is going through all the pedals. <laughs> take the loops out to do everything at the front of the board things like to uh, to bypass the wah while it's still on so what you can do is uh, bring in the wah at a preset point on its sweep Line. The switch on my um, Dynacomp, because it's quite an old one, is a bit temperamental, so it allows me to switch the Dynacomp on and off. <laughs> with these loopy twos they do a lot more than I'm using them for you can link them together so that they will uh, so the switches will interact so you can you know if you have one loop on at the moment I'm set up I can have them all on uh, but you can set them up so that one switch will supersede the previous one so you can you know you switch from one loop to another when you switch this on that one will switch off if you see what I mean, but uh, no, they're they're really great, and uh, I suggest you go to it's called I think his channel's called Daniel at the Gig Rig. I put a I put a, a link, but he's he's I spoke to him on, uh, by email about a year ago and asked him a question about these specifically, and now as I say, working for channels this allowed me to to take advantage of of um, of the staff terms. But Daniel's a good good guy. He plays in, plays in a band with uh, Dave Gregory from XTC, which is pretty impressive. <laughs>
Uh, oh, the tremolo, by the way, is uh, now in the loop in the loop of the amp, which is probably the best place for it, actually. So there we are. That's me. Um, I'll see you soon. Uh, keep on tracking and plucking. Yeah. Bye now, folks. Bye.